people needed to be together in mm-hmm. community um, and to feel some hope um, and to start to think about why, why it had happened together. Um, and so the goal of the meeting was really just a place for people to process that and to, um, to find some community for people that are, were feeling isolated or alone in that, in that moment, because I know a lot of people were feeling like that. A lot of people feel that they've been left out of the political process and they're not being represented properly by the people who are supposed to be representing us. Well, I've been talking to a lot of people. They have voices, but yet they don't vote. We need the votes. We need your voice. We need to be heard. If a situation is not right, that's what they do. We vote on it. I guess we're just going to wait for um, Congressman Smoker to um, decide to present himself and speak with the people who were in there in that position and I want to make sure I want to see him in his face and show a photo of my son and let him know that he's letting my family down, he's letting my son down mm-hmm. and he's letting millions of people, thousands of millions of people who actually need insurance. If you're here with or because of Langston Stands Up uh, if you're already standing, just raise your fist or something, but go ahead and stand up. Like if you're there with Lions who stands up, go ahead and stand up. Let's bring our community together to change things. Let's like figure out a mission and, and work with each other to, to guide our, our collective work. Um, and just seeing like the cultural shift throughout the entire county um, and the sort of like change of the center of gravity in, in terms of like political and social power and the way people think of it like people are really like taking pro- progressive politics seriously because they're realizing like that's the actual that's the actual center the majority of people actually agree on things like we need you know medicare for all or we should have a just immigration system instead of you know locking people up and in, in, into camps you know um, people are really realizing that it's on them to be a part of the, the process, a, a part of the movement for change, um, and that the, the adults in the room aren't that much smarter than us, don't have more of a right to be there than us. In fact, they have less of a right to be there than actual community members. You know? Any questions? We're not the kind of people who would be knocking on doors, no. are we, Jackie? <laughs> November 2016 changed all of that for sure. It seems to me like a lot of people have checked out. They're just kind of, government is bad. I think one of the things we tried to say to them was, you are part of, you are politics. And then that's kind of been a new revelation for me. If uh, I can get out here and do this on this, uh, then I think anybody could probably do it, (laughs) have the courage to do it. I'm proud of us, yay! I too have never done anything like this. Um, You know, I've signed petitions, I've been at rallies, but I never risked arrest, you know, and it was, it's worth it, you know, to, to stand up for what you believe in, to stand up for what's right, to, to be on the right side of history feels good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm just, it's, a, it's, it's an honor and blessing, however the way it went, because we're, we're, we're voicing our concerns, we're, we're spreading the message. Keep calling, keep, keep, um, yeah, keep contacting your uh, your elected officials, especially Congressman Smucker and Scott Martin. Um, keep 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 it up because it they're not going to stop. So we can't stop. We have to keep the momentum going. So whatever that reason is that 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 becomes that flame in your belly that inspires you, remember that.